and picked up by Tate. Buckeyes have gained some swagger. Look at the drive by Scott. To put that in. Just grinding his way. Russell, Sam Thompson to the trail and Russell. They won four games in four days to advance to this in the regular season in the A-10. They were fourth with a record of 12 and 6, and away we go. There's the man-to-man -man defense. Doug Brooks, number five in white, is matched up against D'Angelo Russell. Beautiful look away. Scott inside to Amir Williams. I'm over Williams, and Williams actually made him pay for that a couple of times. One thing which is interesting about Ohio State, they turn the ball over the same or less than in their opponent 28 times. They're number four in the country in fewest turnovers. And we know all the turnovers forced by VCU. Let's see which trend prevails. Second half, one-point game. Russell aims for VCU. Something so your shock is smart. You did not want that coming out of that timeout. Williams had a wide open three point shot in that corner. Can't pass that one up. No. Winner this one will take on Arizona. Good pocket pass. It went inside to Williams. It came off the finger. So with the ball, Scott out there with Thompson and Russell and Tate. They go, what a pass. What a pass inside. Russell caught it, but the view. Rachel Nichols, welcome to Portland. It's the Buckeyes and the Rams. Ohio State and VCU. Seven point game. How about this back to back baskets by D'Angelo Russell? Let's see if Dad Mata may have used something up for the Great pass. Huh? And I guess he did. <laughs> <laughs> They like to cause it on both ends of the floor, but especially on defense with their trans one. The numbers are down a little bit, but the activity has remained the same. Tate. First points in the last 617 for this Ohio State team. How about Ohio State now in the 2 3 zone? You like it? This is a team that primarily plays man to man, but because of the style of VCU, I think that Mon is trying to change it up, trying to change up the pace a little bit. Alvin Johnson with the Look at that look by Shaka Smart. He even he's a little bewildered as uncharacteristic. Yeah. Russell misses two or three free throws. Four for twelve from the line are the bucket. He's a 76% free throw shooter. Larry Moali Cox. And a long shot to play, and play he did. And here's Ohio State back in that zone. And we talked about all the penetration here at the start of this second half for VCU. So you can't just pass the ball around the zone. The ball's got to go inside, whether it's a dribble or the pass. And I like having Graham in the middle there because he can score and facilitate once he gets the ball in the middle. Shot clock down to five. Johnson on the side. Williams, three, and Corral. Not shot, and he has turned it over once, and he's got the ball right now. With six minutes gone, a little crossover on Johnson to the rack. Russell. The gallop and edge and then a great block out. Let's see if Mark Lovey can get something going here offensively by D'Angelo Russell. Let's see if Dad Mata may have used something up for the great pass. Yeah. Out there with Thompson and Russell and Tate. They go, what a pass. What a pass inside. Russell caught it, but the beautiful feet came. But there's a lot of size inside from the Bucks, and here comes Scott. On the side, Russell. A mismatch on Ellie Cox. Russell, triple. Book it from the free throw line, and you're only down one possession. To come to within one, he got it. Pinch right there for the Rams. Scott across the lane. Russell off balance. Oh, he
Ohio State up now by six. He's got 19 for the game. For Ohio State. See, VCU's got nobody on the inside of that zone. Another three. And you know, Russell misses two or three free throws. Four for 12 from the line or the bucket. He's a 76% free throw shooter. Larry, Moali Cox, and a long shot. Well, come the other way. Jaquan Lewis, Brooks, by Tate, inside Moali Cox.